Hi, this is Dan Watt. I'm the science teacher for the white team in sixth grade here at Viking School. I'm also a possible candidate as one of your child's power-up teachers or as your child's flex teacher. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to present to you my information regarding who I am, how I teach my class, and everything that I do with regards to going through your child's experience. Because of my real world experience, I came from United Airlines. I used to be an aviation meteorologist. So a lot of my class includes real life experiences and real life situations. And that's how I connect my class to what is out there. I connect it to a real world situation and real world issues because after all, that is really what we want to see and how we want to see things. So I always do it that way. I'm also exploring different branches of science because this is the first real science class that many of our children have had. So it's my goal to expose them to as much science as I possibly could. Students will get the chance to experience anything new and improve their skills and hopefully ultimately become functional members of society, which is what we want them to be overall. In class, it's important that they have their iPad, so it must be fully charged the night before and Bringing a set of earbuds or headphones is also very helpful in my class. I like the use of colors because sometimes I do things on paper. So what I try and do is I encourage uh, your child to bring colors. Sometimes it could be highlighters, could be markers, could be pencils. A pencil or pen probably isn't a bad thing either, just in case we need to jot some things down, as well as an eraser. So if you make a mistake, then things can be erased very easily. The agenda that was handed out during the second week of school is also an important tool in that it not only includes the ability to write down any homework assignments that they get in a class, but it gives you the ability to see what their homework looks like. In my class particularly, I do have a web page that your child can show you and you would have access to seeing what my homework is also available on there as well. Uh, an extra notebook or folder if it's necessary is also probably not a bad tool to have. I have a lot of different ways that I present my material. Sometimes I lecture, sometimes I show a film, sometimes I give an assignment and see from your children what they know or don't know. There's a lot of different ways that I use in terms of my presentation to try and get the base for what knowledge it is that they need to get. I also have individual work. I also have small group work. And on occasions, I will do a larger group activity, which involves everybody in the classroom. Uh, in order to emphasize the problem solving, I actually help out with the lab work. And so what I always do is I ha have some lab work. This is provided your child completes the science safety page and makes sure that you have shown it to you, signed and dated and with the checklist completed, identifying any known allergies um, that your child may have, which might impede the ability for him or her to participate in lab activities. There will be homework. I'll give plenty of time in my class for children to do homework if necessary. I have many outlets for which I give my homework. So sometimes I'll do it on my website. I will also have it on my board you see right behind me. I'll also mention it verbally. So I will have three ways of identifying assignments that are important to your child each day. Uh, Reading is involved, there will be some writing, there will be some studying as we will have some quizzes and tests with advance notice, unless I see some poor progress, in which case I need to take a tactical adjustment and try and get some quizzes involved there as well. And as I mentioned, time is provided in class. So usually you'll have, there's no excuse not to get homework done. Usually assignments are due at the start of the next class, but usually use classroom because in classroom, when I assign my work, there's a timestamp for when the work is due. And that is when I look, that is the absolute latest I can accept any assignments. Skills we're going to learn, we're going to learn how to use practice lab safe, work safely. We're also going to learn how to use some of the equipment. Again, as I mentioned before, teaching the process skills that you need for real life. It doesn't matter if you go to college or not, you're still going to need some process skills involved uh, in terms of doing any kind of scientific work, collection of data, or collect or analysis of data. Also going to learn, start to learn the scientific method, which is an organized method by which to gather your data and try to solve problems. Pretty much we have four quarters, so we have four general areas we'll be looking at during the course of 
science class. So we're looking at lab safety measurements and kind of looking at the topic of what science is all about. We'll be looking at astronomy. We'll be looking at chemistry, like an introduction to chemistry, looking specifically at matter and energy. And last but not least, we'll be looking at forces in motion. It's a more mathematical based uh, portion of the class. If everything goes well at the end of the year, I usually like to do a balloon race car project as a grand finale to everything, provided circumstances allow that to happen and provided that there's enough time to complete such a project. And that concludes my portion of the project. Should you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Have a good day.